Mm -hmm. Sometimes progress comes much earlier than expected. I made huge steps forward with the software. Uh, I'd like to share those results with you and uh, today I'd like to begin with a uh, wrap up with a summary of the system so far and uh, what it should look like in the future. So the main part of that uh, conversion of a TWSI is that you will drive unit over here mainly consisting of two brushless DC motors, outrunners uh, from Israel Real, uh, Revolt is the company called and that's the Type 160 Pro. Uh, for the transmission I'm using timing belts 85 um, and later on I will have two of those Kelly controllers suitable for those KLS, uh, for those brushless DC motors up to 96 volts nominal voltage and 600 amps. Uh, currently I'm still running on a power supply delivering 70 volts and up to 50 amps which is a little more than 3 kilowatts electrical power. I already uh, using 12 volts battery for the uh, low power part and the DC DC converter recharging the battery continuously and finally uh, that's the more intelligent part consisting of the main vehicle control unit uh, you can find the specs in the description of that video uh, this one is used to uh, yeah, control more or less everything important uh, especially the two Kelly controllers and it also gathers all the information it has uh, access to the can of the Kelly it uh, reads in the throttle of the uh, potentiometer of the Twizy and it also uh, delivers uh, the signals to the Kelly as well as reading in the battery current with the current transducer over here. Um, all that information data only gets uh, transmitted to uh, a smaller, not that powerful microcontroller which uh, takes over just the part of displaying everything over here. I already got a switch over here toggling through different menus and it also performs some calculations. For instance, it integrates speed to distance and uh, energy, uh, power to energy. Furthermore, I've got uh, some, some auxiliary parts necessary, a 5 volt regulator for sure, and also a small DC DC converter for the lamp transducer, current transducer. And probably most important candidate over here is that switch. It's like the, the key switch, ignition key. As you can see, without that one, nothing works. It's a very helpful uh, safety feature right now. As you can see, I already, already dis, did some uh, testings just before recording that video. I drove a distance of 400 meters, used uh, 0.14 kilowatt hours for that at a voltage of 70 volts uh, that was based on 0.2 amp hours with an average consumption of 34 watt hours per kilometer. Furthermore, you can see different average speeds. You can see that during driving, which took 1 minute 4 seconds, the average speed was around about 23 kilometers per hour and overall the system is running since a little more than 7 minutes. On the third one, I, I'm planning to have some more uh, general background data like the 12 volt supply, 5 volt supply and maybe some, some temperatures of motors and the uh, Kelly controller as well. So back again, key is on and as before <laughs> It 
it works nicely. Um, as you might have seen, the top speed was at around about 80 kilometers power at a voltage of 70 volts. Later on, I'm running on 100 volts and I will need a shorter gear ratio with a smaller pulley at the motors, but that's, that's nothing worth being mentioned right now. So the next steps, um, I'd like to decrease the size of the dual drive unit a little um, because the angle of the drive shafts is not the best one. So if I just make the drive unit a little smaller, a little shorter and also a little more narrow, hopefully the angle of the drive shafts gets, gets better and I'm also saving some space. So in the next video, which will take a while, uh, hopefully I'm controlling already both motors with a smaller drive unit and other things will happen. For instance, uh, where's it gone to? Uh, of course I need to implement something like that, driving forward, backward and some more modifications. Preparing everything for the great day where the vehicle runs on battery autonomously. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure I forgot some important things, but no one will recognize that. So far, uh, yeah, feel free to comment. Maybe you've got also some, some helpful, good um, hints, information, recommendations. I will gladly take them. And yeah, let's, let's stop talking and let's get back to business. See you next time. Goodbye.